Have you seen like, Jay's Instagram story all the time? No, I, do I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I keep my Instagram out of Smash. Respect. Uh, my Twitter, though, on the other hand. My Twitter is uh, all Smash. Yes, Anyways, sir. We are definitely going to be here for a very long set. I. Yes and no. I. You know, this is a matchup that, intoxicated or no, Mr. L. You know, on paper dominates, but also just you've been around so. But he has been a high-level player for a very long time. When he's chosen to be active, he is not. You are not going to get caught out by a character who is really reliant on just getting you to make mistakes. A character whose best tools like Phantom have blind spots right in the front of them, yep. and. A character like Pikachu, where do you go to get away from it? Zelda's not mobile enough, doesn't have the options to get away oh, and just doesn't. can't reset. He just kind of has to rely on like getting some, like the way GTN does, he relies on getting quick kills and like obviously matchup inexperience. But I can't even say that because like he's been, he does outplay people with Zelda. He's not one of those Zelda that just relies on solely matchup inexperience. He has funny, he has the but, skill. But at the end of the day, it is still Zelda. And this and is still a very slow character versus Pikachu. Yeah, and it's a slow character with bad frame data against a character who, because of T-Jolt, can whip punish you from halfway across the stage, but also has a bunch of really active hitboxes with disjoints, even though they're not large, or, or, and can hit you at every angle compared to Zelda's relatively limited commitment angles, relatively high commitment. P Pikachu can just be pushing buttons on you sometimes. Uh-huh. It's very... Uh, this match wow. looks, how would I describe this match? Well, um, that, that was a hold on. That was just not the matchup. That was. Oh no, that was uh, that was a missing. Yeah, that was well. That was the DI and the SDI, and that wasn't missing. But he was trying to call him out, jumping the plat because if the first hit teleport hits, it combos in the second teleport, and it would have killed. He he was just he was a read. But right, you're just seeing like you're not even seeing Mr. L play reactive. He is. I'm gonna say the way he's running off ledge here, chasing. And we're seeing the Tomahawk, but he is just pushing buttons some of these times, man. Uh, it's Pikachu versus Zelda. It's like Pikachu can, and there's not much really Zelda mm -hmm. can do exactly. all about it. And that's not to say, like, he's not thinking, right, or he's not playing the matchup, because he is immaculately, you're seeing how many different tools in Pikachu's toolkit are using, from the T-Jolts to the Quick Attack, forcing Zelda to approach with these high commitment buttons, with these high end lag tools below move speed, and just say, okay, if I like how you're approaching me, you're going to get punished. And if I don't like it, then I'm just going to reset. Because I got all the time in the world to scout you out and all the tools in the world to get away from you, man. Yep. And it's kind of just... Like, he's just... He's just running... There's no... It's, this character doesn't even need a stage to play the game. No, it doesn't. Again, off stage, I'm just swinging it and not even a missing. And finally, just like... I feel like it's the first time I've seen you can put his hands on Mr. Elf for this entire set. I'm sorry, did Mr. L just skull bash after the thunder? Er, er, yes. Just so he would get the wall jump? Didn't need to wall jump. Didn't give him any advantage. The delay didn't really help. It just looked flashy. He it wanted? was just like, yeah, he's just like, I want a wall jump right now. I think you want a wall jump. <laughs> but, bro, you're. Vong. Vong. Vong Nintendo franchise, and Zelda's having none of that. You want a wall, wall jump? Play Mario, man. Yeah. His middle name's Jumpman. Mario Jumpman Waffle Big Bang. No, Mario Jumpman Mario. Oh, that's right. His first and last, which means Luigi's name is Lu Luigi, also middle name Jumpman. It's Luigi Jumpman Mario. Luigi? Yeah, Luigi's name is Luigi Mario. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're the. Oh my god, wait. Last one is the freaking Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, they're the Super Mario Brothers. Not because one of the franchises is Mario, but because their last name is Mario. It just, Mario's first name. it just happens that Mario's first name. It just happens that his first name is also Mario. How you can be dead. That is very funny. Um, <laughs> back into this match. Hold See, on. That's what I was second. talking about earlier, where you're trying to get that vertical teleport to get those combos. That is such a hard commitment. Too. You, but you already showed it as the thing, so you're not gonna catch them on DI because even though it didn't connect, Mr. L knows what that is and has, you know and has seen it. And the other thing too, Mr. L, Jagon might be lit up, but they also are never going to get magic checked by a character like Zelda, right? Finding the up yep. smash on the landing lag. Mm -hmm. Very good. Because... You're right, they're the elite Maddie. smash warriors. Right, they are Wi-Fi gang. They are grunt gang. This is one of the top Wi-Fi crews out there, and these two guys are in charge of it. So, yes, they are. you know, if you're trying to... If you're trying 
to catch someone out with a character you're going to see a lot more of online than offline, even if you're cracked at the game. Like, Zerda Nun, very good at the Smash Bros. But, unless you're, like, an Atlas from, uh, like, unless you're an Actuary from Connecticut, an Atlas from Utah, or a Ven, I think is the third one. Ben is the third one. Yeah. I feel like he's Ben's right? like the, the best Zelda round. Yeah, I was gonna say I think those are the three best. But uh, you know, you're not you're not gonna be able to really call out a lot of these players. We're, we're seeing on the smaller stage, right? No space to really get away, reset except underneath that Mr. L still able to slow it down, but Zero to None is finding a little bit more mileage early on here because it's, it's, it's the Pikachu stage. just can't can't force you to make those commitments, right? P Pikachu know. has to scrap with you, but the downside is once you get put in disadvantage, you have even less room to reset. Yeah, less room to reset, that's true. But also, at this stage, is Griselda the room that she wants to work with. She but wants that small space. She so might force you to like, come into yeah. that bad spot, man. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Everyone's talking about wanting like Tears of the Kingdom Link redesign in the next Smash game. I'm going to be real. Keep Breath of the Wild Link. Give me I'm Tears of the Kingdom Zelda in the next Smash game. I'm okay with that. Bro, give her she time powers. Her. Wait, give her the... Time. Yeah. I haven't finished. I haven't got much through the game yet. I just got to like the first... Still on the first round. Cause... Okay, well, spoilers. Sorry. Man, every, Twitch chat hates me right now, man. I'm not saying what context or how or why. Hmm. Interesting. Bro. She li all I'm saying is she literally turns... All I'm saying is she literally glows yellow, disappears, and then hands you the... the the, the master sword in in the past, oh, that's and it goes to the past. That's at the beginning of the game. Oh, that's where she goes. That's yeah, she she's literally. That's how she's talking to Raru, the first king of Hyrule. You oh, think he's I just know. fucking around in the future? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, 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 I don't know. I, I saw that and I was just like, who the fuck is bro? Yeah, it, it literally says Raru, Raru. in both sides on the name card. Hand. Yeah, Varu, original creator of the hand. The of creator the, of, of the, the right hand. Of the right, right hand. hand. Not the first king of Hyrule. Not any of the other, not leader of the Zonai. Yeah, creator of the right hand. Uh, wielder of the right hand. I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, interesting. And I'm just like, okay, that's cool. And, Anyways. They, say, and they say, and Tweet Talk says you should pl play A Tears of the Kingdom before your commentary blocks. I know what I must do when I have time this weekend. True. Well, other than playing a shit to the Smash and getting back into form, um, I'm going to definitely like grind the fuck out of Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god, help. It's, it's taken over. I know, I can't wait. Bro, bro, this is the first time I've been outside in a week. <laughs> I'm not I wish I was kidding. Oh my god. And yeah, that game is that good, huh? Oh, no, it's not even because of Tears, it's because of school. But also, yeah, I've definitely lost three hours of sleep at night. Oh my god. And speaking of... One of the better Zeldas. Yeah, Zero to Done. Gonna make... Making Mr. L lose a little bit of sleep over this game too. The way that game one went, he did not expect it to be going like that. Oh, that being said, Zero Nun maybe getting a little too comfortable there and missing that tech. Look yeah, at us actually did. talking about the game. I know, right? <laughs> it's not like you know the one of the greatest games I've ever all the time just like you know dropped three weeks ago. Anyways, yeah. Uh, uh, well, we're also looking at one of them right here, right? That is true. Smash what what game? Player. What game has? What other Smash game is gonna have this roster and not even include KK and Slider? Beyond. You're not wrong. Like, hey, it's Saturday at 8, so at least we get a good concert in for the mix. As Zero to None, trying to lock this up. If Pikachu can find the stock, this character is very capable of finding that right. quick combo. Rack up that stock, and you're seeing Mr. L slow down the pace of the game, Maddie. Yeah. He, he's, he's saying, okay, you're not letting me get around, around you. No, I can't Ooh. outspeed you. Fine, I'll match your place. I'll play patient, and I'll let you make those commitments. I'll let you make those guesses you have to make to succeed as Zelda. And I'm gonna force you to make the mistake every single time. Every single time. We're also not seeing uh, the mistake. We're seeing a lot more of uh, well, what we were seeing when we landed in GTMBWs was him calling out Mr. L. And a lot, a lot of times. Well, he didn't call out the dash attack there. Maybe he was calling out like a grab. Because, oh my goodness yeah. gracious! There the first lightning kick we've seen, and it wins him game well, number two. Not the first one we've seen. The first, first one we've seen. seen yeah. 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 He's gonna say very important distinction there, and just that's a that's kind of a, that's a really awkward situation only on Smashville because where do you go, right? Where do you go? You At go. that spacing, Phantom covers the entire space. It, it swings up to so covers back half of plat, and then if you land in the blind spot, the front half of plat, well, you get lightning kick. Yep. You can't go behind them because they can react to that with grab. 
There is an answer. It's you go right up in front of Phantom. Because there's a blind spot there. And you can just get up there, and you can either sh push a button and hit Zelda, or you can shield or do something else. Just get hit by only the win box and not the hitbox, and just get pushed all the way back and reset. No, no, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's literally a blind spot at the front of Phantom that you can use to punish people. I really forgot about that. Like, I walk up there, I shield, and I just push back. And yeah, like, that's that's why like sometimes even when you're not shielding, you'll just get hit by the win box when you're at like that specific spot in front of Phantom. Is oh my god, buddy. Doing up airs in tune with the music. I swear. I love Mr. This guy. L. Mi I love I love this guy. Let's go right. Well, we're clapping, but he's doing the up air. I, you know, <laughs> I got a clap. That's why we were clapping. It wasn't for the music. It was to clap it up for that. <laughs> Let's go. So it's FD is kind of a stage where it's like you got to play neutral, but you also have to deal with like Zelda shenanigans, man. This is fun to face. For real right now. Setting up the options, setting up all the. Fan impressor, but Mr. L doesn't want to deal with any of it at all. And I'm really surprised too to see this stage legal. Not just this is a really large stage, right? Which is really hard for Zelda to contest them. And yeah, it's like there's no platforms. It makes it a little bit easier for some of Zelda's horizontal zoning. But this is one of Pikachu's two best stages. Yeah. Why are we it, here? It's. it's I mean, I just feel like it's not that bad for Zelda. Because, like, you still, like, are forced to beat into the air, and Zelda has, like, some buttons that can consent, like, beat you the air a lot. And also, beat you at the end of the day, still has to get close to Zelda. But so I feel like you're banning this stage and, like, Kalos. Because, like, even... Kalos, yes. Kalos, like, yes. you're banning this stage and Kalos, and... Like... Maybe Town? Town? I would have found Town versus... I mean, I mean, actually, yes, no, no, I would. Because of the small blast zones, like, you just kill Pikachu so much earlier than he kills you normally. You don't want to give them the small blast zones. It's like, or maybe you ban PS2. Like, I, I, I feel like weird seeing any really large stage legal in this matchup because of how much extra utility it just gives Pikachu off T-Jolt for free, even ignoring how good the stage is for Pikachu itself, it's just the stage size in this matchup specifically. Yeah, so much room mm -hmm. for him to work with. He knows these percents. But it's also just like, there's not a lot of room for Pikachu to like, avoid Phantom. Which I guess is what ZTN is like, the saving grace for ZTN right now. You know, when Phantom comes out, Pikachu has to like, either you know, A, retreat to the other side of the stage, or just like, and you know. The thing is though, because of T-Jolt, you can still force Zelda to make those commitments from far away, right? We just saw it, and then you shield, and unless you catch them swinging, which, as the set has gone on, Mr. L has gotten a little bit less patient, right? We saw him get a lot of success off mashing buttons game one, but Zero to None is, is starting to kind of call him out on some of those over-commitments. You know what that bait just was right there? That... He's done the same neighbor's love three times, and hold on. I love this, but when he got that stock... Four! I, I want to call that bait the... Hit me, I'm stupid. Bait. We're just like, hey, look at me, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to you. We're gonna go to ledge. Like, right? kick two into the, into the grab, but the phantom hitting a little bit too early meant that unfortunately, Zero to None not able to find the grab. And so it's gonna be Mr. L holding on just a little bit longer, extending this percent lead and trying to find the stock. But I, I feel like. I. The, the only thing I can say about this set is that they can't keep getting away with it! Why did he let him... Why? They can't keep getting away with it, Maddie. I, I, I'm lost for words. They Seeing just keep letting each other get away with it! Yep. And if I'm you're wondering what it is, it's everything! I mean, there is no counterplay. It's, it's all a lie! Pikachu counterplay? Come on. No, I'm just saying... In the set. Oh yeah, no. It's all a lie. <laughs> Zelda sucking this advantage, and I got it kind of just like go on a prayer. Like, look at that. That's a prayer. To be fair, Zelda F Smash is actually insane. It is. You know, that move is criminal. Yeah. Honestly, Zelda the the, uh, the the high level the high level Zelda who uses F Smash the least of every Zelda I see. Oh, you have not watched a lot of ZTN. Oh no, I've seen ZTN use it a lot. But using it a lot less, and you saw there, right? Hold on a second. That was the blind spot on just, the landing line. These other Zeldas are just yeah. throwing the out so much more. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Actuary uses it neutral. He's a psycho. He also uses ground and teleport mix ups in neutral.
This man's like My last fluctuates favorite. somewhere between three and five on CTPR and is on New England PR. Oh my god! Playing oh, solo so, Zelda. So he's a monster. He's also a full-time actuary. Stop. Like he has a full-time job and barely travels. Wait, he is. What? Is an actuary? What? What is an actuary? An actuary? Yeah. It's like someone who does numbers related to money. Oh. Not not, a, not like an accountant, but like. But they do like numbers. They like to count money. Oh, okay. Quite literally, yeah. So that's why his tag is the actuary. Yes, that's because he's an actuary. <laughs> so he is the actuary, and he plays Zelda because. Knowing your, knowing your finance is very important when you're running a kingdom. Good point. Oh my god. And honestly, that's something that might be why we see Zero to None counterpicking us here to Town and City. Because all the top got that in common. Yeah. But I saw him just put on shows. Don't be running kingdom. It's a little bit different, but still the money be The money be coming in regardless. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter how you do it. You just gotta hustle for that dough. That's what both these players are doing, trying to make it further on in bracket. It. What? Did you see that SDI? Oh my yeah. god! Uh, you can tell, right? Zero to none does not want the set to end here. Oh, Starting to see some of the different strength phantoms mixing up. Not just the timing, but also the angle the sword swings at to keep Mr. L guessing. And. The fact that Mr. Like Zuna Nun's getting away with a lot of these early double jumps in. Yes, you're you're seeing the tag start to affect Mr. L a little bit. <laughs> yeah, my man, the jumping falls in a little bit, but the percent, he's still keeping the percent high. He has to be a little bit careful though because the rage Zelda is absolutely terrifying. The double roll not getting punished and not getting punished by the Wi Fi crews. Hold on, our whole, we've been lied to our whole lives. And speaking of being lied to, Zuda Nun was lying if he thought he could survive with that DI. Not gonna land it, even with the high corners of town and city, Maddie, because, you know, we're starting to see the swings come out. It didn't work. It hasn't worked yet because after you show that card the first time, ZTN, they're gonna DI it right every oh, time after that. Even like, I'm actually surprised that people actually like, live that high. Live that, that high from, uh, See, Town and City top blast zones are huge. They are gigantic. The side blast zones are tiny, but that top blast zone is huge. And the lightning kick trading with up tilt. Yeah, the up tilt hurt rock shifted into the lightning. That was crazy. That lightning kick mash, I think like crazy. If he didn't mash, he literally could have just stood there and not gotten lightning kick. Oh, yeah. But he said, nah. He said, nah, watch this. I'm going to keep this advantage thing going right now as we see the up tilt into the void. This is an aggressive up beat. And the landing lightning kick. You're just seeing ZTN try and hit these clutch. But I am just going to try and kill you at as low a percent as possible. Not even because it's my character's X Factor, but because what else can I do? I have been playing this match, I'm playing this game plan as well as I can be, but what game plan is there? Because whatever I do, you just get to hit buttons, and unless I'm hitting my X Factors, where else can I go? Especially when you are small enough to fit between me and the Phantom. Yeah, man. Oh, Pikachu not, really not leaving any room for Jesus. Nope. Okay, listen. There is no space. I uh, Pikachu is the space. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Sir. <laughs> Children's game. Children's game. Rated E10 for everyone. <laughs> this man has the biggest grin in the world on his face, and I am absolutely <laughs> disgusted. Listen. Uh, oh my God. Speaking like of disgusted, said, uh, we're here for ooh. a good time on a <laughs> Shout out Mr. Make It Happen. Love his cooking videos. Man, I, I, what I'm hearing is you're going out with Mr. L after bracket. Uh, I would if I could, but I have work tomorrow morning. So, When's that going to stop him? Uh, good point. Good point. I mean, maybe maybe we lose the set, it'll stop him. But right now, we trying so hard to Bro. get this stock, and ZTN is on fire right now. Yeah, ZTN is just locking it down, not displacing the Phantom there, though. So, gonna get caught by a couple Eagles. Displacing the Phantom is, what, is that you can put it down so it la you land behind it rather than in front of it. Also, switch up the direction, as we saw there. So, you're facing one direction, the Phantom goes another. That being said, we really haven't seen ZTN use it all that much in the set. It's only come out a couple times, and it's one of the strongest tools for Zelda in this matchup because it allows her to charge Phantom with the shield still protecting her from Diesel. 
That's exactly the same thunder step. He definitely needs, doesn't need this uh, Teasel adding on so much more percent. Because he's definitely past up throw kill percent. So see it? Speaking of up throw kill percent, you know, he knows Mr. L wants that grab too. I will do that. I told you. We was here well, for a long set. Mr. L has oh. gone for those quick attacks. Or he, we have seen the horizontal angle from him, regardless of why his next angle is almost every single time from that position. And so ZTN was just like, okay, I'm going to get back and I'll stand back and I'm just going to give you the landing strip. So you, can because come, you can come here. Just like come and just watch it happen. The question I have is, do you think Zero to None knows? Like, probably. other than the tag, do you think Zero to None has put together what the tag means for Mr. L? Um, probably, yeah. <laughs> Do you think he's using it to his advantage consciously? I don't, honestly, I don't think he's thinking about it during that because honestly, I'm looking at the way Mr. L is playing. He, yes, my boy is harsh, but my boy is definitely still playing as on point as usual. So I don't know how sauce, bro, is. Three, two, well, you know, you're asking, you don't know how much sauce he has. Well, the game's certainly howling about it, so. Yes, it is, man. KK Ryder's like, I go! Well, this, that's because he only puts out bangers, and that's what ZTN is trying to do, to just running away with that last game and trying to keep that momentum up here once again on Town oh. City. But the single lightning loop repetition gonna allow Mr. L to keep the pressure going. We've seen a lot of down tilts from him tonight, though, and ZTN is just not gonna get caught out by those unless he gets oh. tripped. Oh. In this game, not really look well into Mr. L's favor right now. Just a lot of things going into ZTN's uh, priceless basket, I should say, for lack of a better term. I do to get these grabs, get these death traps, L just even like the Zin fires hitting him. And you're seeing now game. game five, right? All these at, we've seen sprinklings of these mix-ups coming out, but they're coming full throttle. First up air, we really have seen. Gonna take the stock. He saved it for the very last game, Maddie. But we're also seeing so many of just of these other things, like the phantom mix of the f smashes that we haven't seen. Jay, that being said, Mr. L, able to turn it on himself, trying to find some of these Pikachu combos, especially when there's the open space, and you're not gonna get interrupted by those platforms, but are the mix-ups too little too late for him? They just might be, because Pikachu's not a character that, he's good at racking up the damage, but the way CTN has been playing, super well, it's like keeping, uh, keeping Mr. L out of the picture. No, exactly. Z ZTN has been impeccable at, le you know, it's okay. Mr. L gets these hit, but he's getting the stray up air. He's getting this one back air at a percent that doesn't combo, right? He's getting hit by weak hit of thunder to reset the situation. And, you know, it, all these little these are, exactly. And even when it's an extended circumstance like this, it's like, okay, ZTN took 25, right? You, you're okay taking 25 for a minute long juggle interaction. Yeah, it's like, not like the next hit's gonna kill you anyways. And Zelda's just doing so much more damage per hit, whereas the, we're not see the combo starters have been so rare from Mr. L because ZTN's been playing around them perfectly. And when they have come out, the fact that they're multi hits has just allowed ZTN to show off the impeccable SDI from earlier. Oh, absolutely. Loving it. Trying to get a little Tom Hawk right there or something. ZTN just now is sitting in shield, knows he's still safe. Doesn't get killed by an up throw at this percent. Maybe like, like one, more, one or two more team goals, and ZTN is on notice. But as of right now, you know, keeping the Phantom up, keeping the keep away pressure going on. And he just needs to one confirm or one hit, wait for Miss Held over instead, man. And so many, the thing is, so many of these fade back lightning kick mix ups, they're working for zero to none. Right, his spacing is there. It's just that Pikachu's so small, he's pancaking underneath the Absolutely. fade back falling lightning kick. It, but the pressure is on. It's picking up the high quick attack angle for the first time in a long time, Maddie. Gonna give ZTN oh the extra God, credit. Oh my God, there was no TI yeah. on that no, back it, No, back throw plus, you saw the win box extra credit. It was only the win box of Phantom, so it didn't compound the knockback angle or give you another opportunity to DI. It just accelerated Wait, that, your speed. That was amazing. Yeah. I did, holy shit. Yeah, that's that's how Winbox story. I have ZTN. I mean, I should not wait like I have a Winbox on I was going to say, like, <laughs> you literally mess with your Winboxes. They're absurd. They do, I do a lot. So wait, what, what is Toon Link's Winbox? Down there. Has a Winbox? Yeah. Why? You come from a high angle, drop something heavy into the ground. It's going to displace the wind. 
juggling right now from Mr. L, knowing his back is against the wall. Tournament stock for him now, but it's just the every single scrap situation. And he's getting these one, two, three hits, but he keeps getting called out by these up tilts. It's been the whole set. The timing and precision you need to call out with Pikachu up Pikachu quick yeah. attack like that? Well, it's, it's almost every single quick attack, at, like that one you just saw that's going over him. And Zelda's up tilt goes at the perfect arc to cover it, and it's pretty active, so you can just... Throw it out. I mean, yeah, it's precise, but you can react to the strip. Nerd up, and if, if Mr. L commits, then... It's up to suck, man. Definitely something that Pikachu can bring back with all that. Literally, but literally everything. Well, and the parry? Even, okay, it's like, okay, I didn't displace Phantom, so instead I'm gonna parry and Mr. L getting caught in the end lag, just saying, okay. Game 5 and CTM takes it. Now, uh, much I'd love to talk about this game. I have a redemption match to go play. I will catch you later, I well, think. Send TK back, please. He is playing. <laughs> He's playing? Uh, I will find someone. Find someone, any 